I see you. Gabrielle, the man under the hat. What's up, up man? How you doing? Good. How are you, brother? What's I, new? I'm so good. Um, I just, man, I'm sweating. I just got out of my watch party, man. There was like a thousand people that came out to came out to support me tonight, man. It was awesome. Where are you? Are you back in, in Oklahoma? Where, whereabouts are you? Yes, I am in McAllister, Oklahoma. That's uh, cool. I, you had it's the big it's the big city right um right north of where I'm from. Cool. Still got the hat. Still rocking the hat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's on there, man. So you had friends and family come out. Uh, obviously not the outcome you wanted, but it must have been incredible for them to to just tune in, watch that amazing uh, duet that you did, and just to see you shine like that. Absolutely. What a way to what a way to go out too. I got to um I got to sing one of my favorite songs, "Way Down We Go" by Kaleo, and then I got to yeah. collaborate. I got to collaborate with such a phenomenal artist, Bishop. She's so kind and so talented, and I I'm very blessed, and I'm 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 happy. I really am. You guys rocked it, man. What was it like, kind of coming together for the first time? It's you know it's always interesting when two artists with different backgrounds kind of come together but it seems like you guys kind of hit it off right away yeah oh my gosh like like we went into this room and we ran through the song one time and she's like our voice is like a match made in heaven like can we can we be a duo can we be friends and I was like oh my gosh yeah of course and so um it just came natural for both of us we uh they had to several times they had to be like all right guys we got to get to the questions and stuff y'all got to have to like stop stop chit chatting and stuff but yeah. we, um, I think I've made a lifelong friend with Bishop. She's outstanding. Absolutely. She's a big fan of yours. I know you made a lot of friend, uh, fans and friends on this journey uh, as well. So what's been the reaction like, you know, uh, from your friends and family back in Oklahoma to the people on social media reaching out to you? Everybody's tuned in here. Uh, they're excited to see you. What, what's, what's this journey been like for you? Man, this journey, uh, it, makes me, it makes me truly appreciate my hometown people, absolutely. The state of Oklahoma is, um, we're, we're one just huge community, and we're all, um, I've, I've got so many messages that of just touching people's lives, and the goal in this competition was to represent myself um, to the best of my ability as an artist and to touch people's lives, and I, I did that. I achieved what I went to, uh, what I wanted to do in this competition, and I'm, I'm so blessed. I can't stress that enough. Absolutely, Trevor. We're we're big fans of you, man. Uh, Thank we're you. really excited to see uh, what comes next for you. I know you got a lot of fans that are just anxiously uh, waiting to see what's next. And yeah, and, and go go yoga could be on the horizon. Is Heck that still yeah. on the table? Heck yeah, still got goats, and we'll we'll get her done. <laughs> we got goats. We got music. Uh, Trevor, congrats on everything, man. I know it's been Thank a wild you. ride. We've really appreciated uh, watching you and your journey. So congratulations. We're uh, we're big fans. We'll see what happens next with you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me tonight. I appreciate it. Of course. You take care, brother. We'll Have see you soon. Have a good one. Bye bye. There we go. Trevor McBain hanging out right now. What's up, everyone that's just joining us? What's happening? It's Morgan from Radio Disney. We are here because we're, we're talking American Idol. I know some of you guys just wrapped up that episode. Um, maybe your favorites are still in. Maybe you guys are heartbroken. Someone went home. But we're going uh, to be checking in with everybody that got eliminated on tonight's show. They're going to be joining us here. And one of the fan favorites uh, coming up right now. Y'all get set. Layla Spring, welcome. Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, Hi. man. Everybody's tuned in to see you. What's new? Well, I'm just at my watch party. I had an amazing watch party tonight. I had an amazing crowd. It's been amazing. My phone's yeah. blowing up. It keeps vibrating. <laughs> I know. I was about to say, trust me, you made a lot of fans on this show. One of the fan favorites. Uh, I know the outcome wasn't what you wanted tonight, but I know how many uh, friends and family gathered around to, to watch the show. Tell me uh, about what it was like. Oh my gosh, it's been the most amazing experience in my whole life. And I, I will cherish all the memories that I've made and all these fans and friends I've made. And I'm one lucky girl, that's for sure, to being able to be a part of this season. I love all of my fans so much. Oh, I love you guys so much to see the comments. I know, I know. Everyone's tuned in to see you right now. Are you, uh, are you back in Kentucky right now? Yeah, I'm at Cozy Corner. Oh, the famous Cozy Corner. Yes, you want to know what they said? They sold over... 40 cozy melts tonight. I was about, that was my next question. The cozy melt, the famous cozy melt. It's the burger. Oh, yes, what's on I it think again? it was actually more than that. There was, there was tons of cozy melts sold tonight. See, it's good for business, you know? Yes, it's great. I'm so glad that Ryan said something about it last night. <laughs> and how's uh, Dixie doing? She's still, uh, she's got her golden ticket for 2026. 20, hey, there she is. <laughs> Oh, 
you guys made a lot of fans, you know, Radio Disney, Radio Disney Country. We can't wait to see what what's next with you guys. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, American Idol, for all these dreams. All my dreams have came true. Thank you guys. Tell me real quick, just... I have like a voice crush on Jennifer Nettles. I think she's absolutely incredible. What was it like meeting her and being able to just interact with her? Oh my gosh, girl, she was amazing. <laughs> she is the best singer I ever heard. Uh, she is so awesome and she's beautiful on the inside and out. I love her so much. And she was so sweet to you. And also you got to FaceTime one of your favorites, uh, Lauren Elena as well. Yes. We saw that on the episode. Oh cool my was that? gosh, that was the best thing ever. I got to FaceTime my biggest idol while I was on American Idol. And I've inspired <laughs> so many little girls and little boys and people all over the world, which is my dream. And that's all I could ever ask for is just to be able to be a part of this season. Absolutely. Well, Lauren Elena is going to be hosting a brand new American Idol Insider uh, tomorrow right here on Radio Disney. So I hope you guys tune in for that. It's going to be great. And uh, Layla, you were amazing. You made so many fans on this journey, and we know this is just the beginning for you. Um, so we cannot wait to see what's next, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you again real soon, all right? Yes, it's only the beginning, you guys. Yeah. Hopefully I can be the wild card. Hey, you never know. <laughs> I got big hopes. <laughs> I was going to tell you to stay positive, but that's that. you don't have any problem with that. You're a little racist. No, I'm just going to keep staying positive. I'm never going to give up to all my fans, and don't you guys ever give up. Just keep following your dreams no matter what. You're amazing, Layla. We will talk to you so soon, all right? You take care of yourself. Oh, thank you. Love you guys. Bye. Bye She's amazing. Layla Spring right there, you guys. Um, big welcome to everybody just joining us fresh off a brand new episode of American Idol, five contestants eliminated tonight. It was a heartbreaker, but all of them are joining us uh, right now. We're gonna see who's next. Let's see here. If we could get our main man, Brandon Diaz. Brandon, there he is. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What's happening, brother? How you been? I've been good. I've been good. Just finished watching the episode. It's a little, it's a little bittersweet, um, but it, it's it's been really cool. Just the response I'm getting and all the love and support. So it's been really cool. So you're back home. Obviously, I know watching the episode wasn't the, the outcome you wanted, but it's got to be really cool just to, to, to watch it at that scale, you know, from from your, your hometown. Tell me about kind of the feelings and emotions you had when you were watching that big episode. Yeah, it's been it's been emotionally all over the place. I'm actually right now I'm in Boston, so I'm not in my home hometown, but I'm on my second hometown, my home away from home. Cool. And um, I was watching with a couple of buddies of mine. Uh, we didn't have a big party or anything, but I know my parents are having a bunch of people over to watch it. Um, back in my hometown in Virginia. So it's so surreal to just see how everything comes together because, you know, you're on set for so many hours and then it all comes together in, in like such a short, like you have this little segment and they show everything, but it, it comes together so well and they do it so beautifully that I, I love the way it came off and I love how, how it showed me and how it portrayed me in my song. And, and it was all with love. So it's been really cool. I love it. What was it like uh, teaming up with uh, Luis Fonzi? Oh. A little Despacito. I know it's probably, you know, I, I know you stepped outside of your comfort zone a little bit. You know, I, I, I feel like you, you really took the risk and you pushed yourself and it, it turned out so great. Yeah, I definitely did go out of my comfort zone a little bit. But, I, you know, I've like I've been surrounded by Spanish and and just the, the language my whole life because my, my father speaks it fluently and my grandma and then my his that entire side of the family. I've just it's kind of embedded into my body. And so just him, uh, Luis was so down to earth and so easy to talk to and to and to sing with, he made it just that much easier. So it was it was no struggle for me. It just felt like I was singing with uh, with a brother or a cousin or a fa just family, you know. So it was really really cool. I love it. Let's talk about the the moment. I mean, you could take away from this that you you sang with Lionel Richie on stage, his song "Hello." I mean, what was that like when you saw him kind of get up out of his chair and go to the stage? Were you, what were you thinking? Oh man, that was surreal. It, it felt so cool. I just, right when Ryan started saying something, I was like, no way, this is not going to happen right now. Yeah. He's not about to walk up on this stage and he did it. And I mean, that just goes to show you the kind of person Lionel is. He's not afraid to go up there and, and spread the love and, and, and just give the spotlight to somebody else for a second and then, and then join in there with you. So it, it was just so surreal. It went right over my, I just, you could see to my face, I didn't even know what to say or to do in that moment, but I just kind of took it all in and, and went along we for the ride. So. We all geek out as soon as Lionel starts doing his thing. Like, exactly, exactly. He makes everyone swoon, so you just got to sit back and just let him do it. He's the master. I mean, he's been doing it for yeah. so long. You, I just took, I stood back and took notes. You know, you have to, <laughs> you have to just take it, take get, uh, learn from the legend. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, what's next for you, Brandon? Um, well, I'm actually, so I'm in Boston and I'm going to be working with, um, with some people on some music and my band on, on some new music. So hopefully I'm going to have a lot of new music and new videos, some new covers out there for you guys and, and for some new fans. And uh, it's, I'm just working on some really cool stuff and I'm, I'm just super excited to hit the ground running and this is not going to stop me. This is not uh, like getting sick. No to is definitely, a, it sucks and it's a horrible thing, but you got to just, you got to tr- like catapult yourself off that and just, and just run with it. And I'm, I'm so, so ready. Well, it's been an incredible journey, man, and we, we've uh, we've loved seeing your journey. We know this is just the beginning for you. You can, I mean, you can see by the the big outpouring of uh, positivity and people tuning in here that you made a ton of fans during this process. And, I definitely uh, did. We know you're going to go on to do incredible things, uh, and we wish you the best. And we uh, we look forward to talking to you real soon. All right, bud. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It was an honor. All right, you take care, man. We'll see you soon. Bye, Brandon Diaz, right there. What's up to everybody? If you're just joining us, we are doing it. It's Morgan Tompkins here from Radio Disney. We are in the Radio Disney Studios. I'm on the air. We're also talking to you guys, talking about American Idol on ABC. Brand new episode tonight. I know you guys are tuning in East Coast. Uh, We had some eliminations as we try to get down to the top 14. And then America gets to take over after that. So we're going to be conferencing in our, uh, our last two here in just a second. We got Dominique on the way, so you guys stay tuned. You guys got your shout outs in there. Is that Dominique? There he is, the beard. I see it. What's happening, man? How's it going? Welcome to the show. How you feeling? I'm feeling all right. How about you? Good, man. We just watched the episode. Did you have like some sort of watch party? Were you just kicking in? What were you doing tonight? So I did last night. Um, tonight, I actually got a chance to catch myself on the show while I was in the gym. And so now go. I'm not doing the right thing. I'm picking out, like, eating a piece of key lime pie. There you go. I'm not mad at that. That's a little cheat day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you deserve it, man. You've been working hard. You're right. Thank if you. People are going to start recognizing you at the gym. Like, if you're sitting there, I mean, that beard, you got the beard. You're going to be, like, doing some presses and people are going to be looking up at the TV and, like, wait. No, they you're did. The guy. They did. They did? <laughs> like, it's I, happening already. I'm, I'm taking selfies in the gym and everything already. <laughs> well, how's this experience been for you, man? Uh, tell me, you know, from the beginning all the way up until these uh, these duets, an incredible performance. Uh, just tell me about your overall experience with American Idol. Honestly, it's been like a totally just amazing, humbling, exciting learning experience. That's all it was. It was a great learning experience for me, and I, I'm really glad that I got to go on the journey. You made a lot of fans, man. I know. I don't know if you can see. There's a lot of love. People, uh, people send you a lot of love tonight. Uh, in here as well and uh a lot of you i know it was we were talking about it a lot but did you end up quitting your job what's we gotta we gotta get an update on this yeah i'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking yeah yeah it's, it's uh it's, it's, it's officially a wrap for me okay all right that's what's going on okay so what's next for you we are pursuing this 100 percent. this is just the beginning for you what's uh what's next for you dominique so i'm writing I'm working on finding a few producers the right to work with as well. I'm trying to learn how to dance, you know what I'm saying? Get my moves hey, on. Um, I'm probably just gonna like, you know, just just pack up my stuff and get in the car and just drive and try to gig wherever I can and just, you know, just just do it. You're gonna be a triple threat, man. We're gonna see you in Hollywood before you know oh, it. Yeah. Not worried about you, man. You're crazy talented. You made a ton of fans on uh, on this journey and on the show. We can see the the love uh, pouring in for you here. So. <laughs> I uh, just want to say congratulations on everything, man. We really enjoyed watching you on there, and we uh, we just can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make sure I keep you all posted. <laughs> all right, Dominique. You take care of yourself. You too. See you, man.